It destroyed all the stairs up to Lupino's office. The alternate route led there by way of adjoining rooftops. It's never been this cold. Never ever. <laughs> To get to the roof, I'd need to get to the elevator through the locked door up ahead. You know the clowns at the laundry? Me? No. You're no good to me then. What? No, 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 the laundry, yeah. I know him, yeah. Get me in there. Okay, okay, okay. Address unknown. I don't want to go there. It's the last place I want. But that's where I always end up. Anyway. Only it's not me talking to the pin. 
pink flamingo, but someone who looks the part down to the finest detail, except that he's evil. I'm hiding in the shadows. Needy. Just the man I've been killing to see. Pain? Freaking fed! I knew from day one there was something screwy about you. What do you think you're doing? You're a freaking cop. You ain't got squad on us. You can't just come in here waving your piece like it meant something. Yeah! Oh my god! Oh god, you shot me! Ah! You're dead, Pain! And what the hell are you waiting for, you apes? Kill him! Kill him! With pleasure, boss. Got me bailed. I made like cherry on fat. A crumpled letter lay on Gagniti's desk. The letter was addressed to Don Punchinello, but Vinny had never had the nerve to finish it. Jack's gone food though. Just the other night, he shot Dino because he wanted to see what his brains looked like splattered on the wall. He's a freaking mad dog. We're running out of men and business fast. Gagniti had been living in mortal fear of his boss. Jack Lupino was a psycho. <laughs> Vinny Gagniti was getting scared. He could run, but with a bullet in his stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Gagniti would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings. Lead. <laughs> 